here I am with two beautiful farmed Miracarp. I'm going for a recipe which is very much a kind of based on Eastern block cooking. It's got beer and vinegar and lots of spices in. Start by scraping off the few mirror scales and I've also removed the gills. Here is the bed my carp will lie in. Now, because I want the carp to cook evenly, all of it tasting of the wonderful aromatics in this dish, I'm actually going to season the tray first. So scatter on some salt, a little dribble of oil, and now for some lovely spices. I've got a few cloves. Now with the cloves, just pinch the heads a little bit to let them release their good stuff. So two of those. Then I've got some lovely allspice berries here. Then I've got some juniper berries here. Now juniper's got a lot of oil in it. To get those wonderful sticky oils out, I like to just give them a little rubbing in the fingers. Whole peppercorns, so one of a few of those. Some bay leaves, and then some delicious thyme, and sprinkle it over. And some thinly sliced garlic. Now I've got half an onion here, which I want to slice nice and thinly. It needs to cook to soft in the time that it takes the carp to cook. You don't want lovely carp and then raw onions. Now because this recipe has a kind of sweet and sourness to it, part of the sweetness is lent by the raisins. So a good handful of fat raisins, a little bit of unsmoked paprika, thinly sliced orange. So about half a green pepper. So a few slices. Lemon. Right, now for the juicy stuff that's gonna make the sauce, and I think a bit of a nod to um, a country that very much enjoys eating carp, some Polish beer. Squeeze of orange juice. And finally, a good splash of red wine vinegar. Now I lay my beautifully fresh carp end to end. And then I repeat the bottom layer that I have under the fish on top of them now before I seal it up. Give the carp a final dusting of paprika. And then the lid can go on. Making sure you leave enough space around the fish for the steam to cook them. And we should have something rather special in a bit. So that can go in at 190 for about 40 to 50 minutes. See you later, carp. 40 minutes in a hot oven and it's time to check my carp. All right, let's have a little look-see. Oh, there they are, beautifully steamed. The smell is extraordinary. It's got a sweetness, a vinegariness. You can definitely smell all those wonderful spices. Those last and important pieces of orange. Pour the leftover liquor into a pan and reduce it, whisking in a few knobs of cold butter until it emulsifies into a rich sauce. Right, the sauce is done, it's waiting on the side. I've got some very simply boiled spuds, which I'm gonna put around the outside of the fish. I want to make this look like something kind of splendid, something for a special occasion. So some parsley all the way around. And lastly, I have this wonderful sweet and sour sauce, thickened and luxuriated with butter. You can taste the sweetness, there's a wonderful vinegariness to it, there's the faint bitterness of the fruit rind. So there we have a kind of Russian-ish, Eastern blocky carp dish with boiled potatoes and parsley.